Hi, uh, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Libra. Libra, I'm here to do a monthly reading for you guys. I'm so sorry I don't have my card shuffled and already laid out, but give me a minute and just take a second. I want to thank all of you guys for your beautiful comments, your, uh, for subscribing to my channel, and all your thumbs up. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure um, corresponding with you for you, with all of you guys. Now, if this uh, reading do not resonate, you take what does, and you leave the rest for the other labors. my cards. Let me sage myself. Then we'll see what you have. Saging my cards and saging myself. Spirit can be a message for Libra. Make it a message that they need to hear. Make it a message that's going to benefit them. I thank you in advance. I shake, I shake, I shake. All right. Okay, Libra, let's see what you have. Uh, four of Cups. Uh, six of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Uh, eight of Cups. Eight of Swords. A two of Swords. Knight of Swords, the Hermit, Ace of Wands, the High Priestess. Okay, Libra, give me a minute. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what message is coming through. Can you guys see that? Let me move it over so you can see it. I chose these cards because they were a little bit smaller. The other ones are just so huge. Great, you guys should be able to see that. Okay. All right, Libra. Libra, you're starting out with the Four of Cups. I see this is disappointment, Libra. Not sure uh, about a decision that you guys made. You're dissatisfied with life. Um, dissatisfied with a disappointment. Uh, dis you're dissatisfied with life and disappointed with where you now sit in life. This, this is not at all what you pictured for yourself. Some of you guys are embarrassed. You worry about what people think. You're worrying about what, what, what the onlookers are saying. You can see, see, here's the thing. You guys must, you guys must weigh out the pros and the cons of any relationship. It must be perfect balance with, you know, with the perfect mate. And you feel you didn't make the right choice, which which has you confused. And next to that, you have the uh, Six of Pentacles. See, you guys, you guys must have balance. And I feel this was a one-sided commitment, meaning, meaning, uh, meaning you did all the giving. Your person did all the taking. Showing no appreciation at all. Uh, like totally taking your kindness for a weakness, Libra. And you guys hate confusion and chaos in, in, in a relationship. You guys won't be controlled, contained, manipulated, or told what to do. Like the element of air, you will disappear. And next we have the Hierophant. This is higher commitment. This could be a marriage or a divorce, or just a long-term committed relationship. 
Libra, you seem to be disappointed in this marriage or this commitment. You see, this this is where, where the the discontent is coming in at. It's coming in through this marriage right here. This marriage. Some of you are married. Some of you are divorced. Some of you are heading for a divorce. Some of you, if you weren't married, um, you were just in a long-term relationship with someone who totally didn't appreciate you, took your kindness for a weakness. You did all the giving. You did all the sacrificing. And this... Um, in this relationship here. And next we have the Eight of Cups. See, you're ready to cut them off. Or you have already cut them off. You know, cut off all communication. You cut off helping them out. Help cut off giving them money. Um, you guys must have balance in your lives. You must have like a, a, a pleasant work environment. Nice surroundings. You know, you don't like to do all that arguing. You want very few argue, arguments as possible. You know, you like you like peace and serenity. You don't want to do all that arguing, you know. Um, when, when any of these things are out of kilter, you guys are quite miserable. Which causes you to become sullen, silent, and distant. So this is why you're like cutting off all communication now. Pulling your energy back from this particular person. And next you have the Eight of Swords. You could be dealing with another Gemini. I mean, another Libra. Sorry, Libra. Another Libra, a Gemini or Aquarius. This card indicates feel, uh, feeling trapped, bound, stuck. More of the same, you know, mental mind fucks, negative thinking, head games, a bunch of negative energy. Libra. And, and this is certainly not your spirit at all. You guys don't like that at all. Okay, with the two of swords, this is a difficult decision. See, you guys take years to make a darn decision. Libra, y'all will stay stuck in this mess forever. Because, see, I mean, knowing you guys are unhappy, you're unbalanced, you're still waiting for them to show you that they love you or that they or that they're serious or that they would do better. But this person has no intentions on changing. What you see is what you get. And again, some of you are dealing with a another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. With these swords here. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Again, somebody's dealing with another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But not necessarily. Just you got a lot of swords here. Okay. Now this is the Knight of Swords. This is nervous energy. Someone is rushing in with communication. Um, maybe you're rushing in saying that, you know, you finally want out. Maybe your person is rushing in saying, give me another chance. I'm going to do better. But I feel this energy is saying, I want out. Because it's a nervous energy. And only the nervous energy is only going to come from you. Because you're the one who want peace. Your person is very self-centered, very self-absorbed. It's all about them. So, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, I feel in my spirit that this is you. Okay, this is you grabbing your control back. This is thinking before you act. This is, this is getting strong and making a more, and making a move, making a move out of this misery. Okay. And next you have the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you're about to meet a Virgo or there's a special Virgo in your life because this is introspection. So this is going into the hermit mode to reevaluate some shit. This is contemplation. Um, this is Learning to appreciate yourself for who you are. This is soul searching, self-reflection. This is going into yourself to find out what you want, what mistakes you made. Forgiving yourself. Realizing what, where you went wrong and never doing it again. You know, learning from your mistakes. And next you have the Ace of Wands. This is new beginnings. 
This is a passionate beginning. This is enlightenment. This is the enlightenment for when you was in the hermit stage. This is enlightenment. This is awakening. This is a passionate new beginning with someone who's going to reciprocate that back to you. And it's probably with this high priestess that you're next to right here. Well, like I said, you guys could have met a Virgo or Virgo is coming into your life. Um, this high priestess is, this is psychic energy, highly intuitive. This person, it, it, this card, this energy indicates secrets coming out, secrets coming to the surface. This indicates that all of your, all of the dark spaces, all of the dark energy will bring forth the information that you, that you were, um, that you knew what was happening, but you didn't have proof. See, all this is going to be revealed. See, this is the car of an intuition. So most of you guys know it, or the person that you're going to meet is very, very intuitive, very psychic, and you're going to have a very good connection with this person. But since this is your reading, and I don't quite see that you're out of this misery yet, this is the person that you're about to meet, or this is your energy now, since you were in the hermit mode, Libra. You're using your intuition. You're very psychic. Okay, Libra, let me see what else you have. I'm going to pull the Tarot Psychic deck just to see if I can get another message for you. So when you come out of this uh, dark space, there might be some good uh, messages for you from the Psychic Tarot deck. So let's see what else they have there for you. Because you're coming out of a really dark energy. But the good news is, Libra, you're coming out of it. You're not going to stay stuck. Which you guys can stay stuck for a very long time. Because it takes it takes a hell of a long time for you guys to make a decision. It takes a hell of a long time for you guys to decide, oh, I deserve better. You guys are long-suffering. But you're not infinite suffering. So that's a good thing. Okay. We have... Sacrifice. Libra, you have made a sacrifice. You have made a great deal of sacrifice in this marriage here, this relationship here. You ha they have sucked you dry. They have taken, you taken your kindness for a weakness. They used you up. They have used, 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 and didn't give a darn thing in return. Now, how long are you going to allow that to happen, Libra? Stand your ground, Libra. And I can't make this up. Look at these messages coming through for you. Stay on your ground. You deserve better. Don't let nobody do that to you. This is your fulfillment and wishes that you're about to, that you, that's about to come your way. You're going to get out of this. You're going to stay on your ground. You get you you sacrificed enough. Enough is enough, and too much is good for nothing. It's time to get out of that negative energy. The universe is helping you. You have the universe. The universe is guiding you to your happiness. Let them lead you. Stop fighting. Stop swimming upstream. Go to your destiny, Libra. Go to your destiny. You have a very, 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 very strong intuition. Listen to it. It's telling you to get out. Mental conflict. Step out of that mental conflict. Step out, step out of that, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe if I leave, I'm going to have to do this. Oh, I'm going to lose money. Oh, I'm going to lose my house. Oh, I'm going to lose my family. What are you going to stay in it and stay miserable? Get out of that mental conflict. If I stay in it, he's going to go to somebody else. Oh, if I, if I leave him, he's going to go to someone else. If I leave her, she's going to go to someone else. Let them have him. Because y'all, you know what they're getting. Let them have her. You know what they're getting. A self-absorbed, self-centered user. An opportunist. You don't deserve that, Libra. Get out of that energy. Get out of that energy. I feel that you are. It took you a long time to get to, to get here, but you're here. Libra, I hope you enjoyed this message. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe, and leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.